guys hello everyone welcome to rasayan academy all of you so it's been a while since the uh, re uh, recruitment notification for the uh, uh, post of examiner of patents and design is out but uh, in this video we are going to discuss about all the aspects of this examination of the job all right what is uh, what is basically the role of a patent officer and uh, you know we'll try to understand about this post and we'll also try to understand what are the eligibility criteria uh, regarding uh, you know the application what is the syllabus for the examination what is the interview process everything we are going to talk about and we are also going to see that what are the sample questions which are being asked for the uh, examination preliminary and mains examination all right so we are going to discuss about all the aspects of this particular uh, post patent officer patents and design officer okay so this cgpdtm intends to recruit examiners of patents and design general central uh, service group a gazetted non ministerial in the level 10 for which the pay matrix is going to be in between 56100 to 177500 and along with this there is plus applicable allowances as admissible in the government of india all right so this plus the allowances okay now let's also talk about the job responsibilities so what does a patent office do what is the role of a patent office is to process the application for the grants of patent obviously there has to be a control over the grants of patent there has uh, to be some, there has uh, there are some rules to be followed so so that we protect and encourage inventions okay so inventions is going to require a lot of effort by different people and the patent examiner is the backbone of the patent office office who is responsible for examination of the patent application for inventions and its claims and determines or recommends whether the patent can be granted or not so basically jo bhi patent ke liye apply karta hai uski application ko pura process karna uske upar research karna aur ye check karna ki wo sare rules follow kar rahe hai ki nahi uh, you know going through the application overall and to be able to grant a patent so that is the role most important part is this to conduct a search through the patent and non patent literature of earlier publication technical literature matlab ki jitna ho sake utna zyada research karke ye pata lagana that the invention is novel that the invention is uh, absolutely new it is something new and it has never been done before okay and also to examine the application containing the invention under the provisions of patents act 1970 to determine and assign international patent classification on the basis of disclosure made in the application to investigate each application and ascertain that the invention is described clearly in such a way a skilled person will be able to use it that is invention jo ho raha hai wo invention sirf ek uh, science ke basis pe hi nahi hai it is also useful all right that is also to be taken care of also to read and understand a patent application and comparing with the prior art to determine new and inventive technological contributions made in the invention disclosed matlab ki jo bhi ap apply kar raha hai patent ke liye us patent ka kya use ho sakta hai usme kya inventive technology contribution hai all of those things are also to be uh, checked also along with the analysis to prepare an examination report by analyzing the search results obtained to undertake all such task as may be assigned from time to time including other task may be required in future so basically to be able to uh, go through the application to conduct the research and tell whether the invention is novel to see if all the uh, if the application follows all the government rules and then apply the grant apply the uh, grant the patent okay now for which categories how many different vacancies are uh, provided by the government that also we have to check so for the discipline of biotechnology there are a total of 50 
uh, vacancies for biochemistry there are 20 for food technology there are 15 for chemistry there is 56 so 56 um, vacancies for SC it is 8 for ST 3 for OBC it is 15 and for EWS category it is 6 and unreserved it is 24 so total of 56 now you have more and more of these so you are having a total of 553 vacancies for the patent and designs officer all right now moving on to the eligibility uh, conditions of this uh, application you see first of all we talk about the nationality then about the minimum essential education qualification and then about the age limit okay so the nationality should be indian uh, the candidate must be a citizen of india or nepal or bhutan all right also it uh, he or she could be a tibetan refugee who had come to india in uh, before 1st january 1962 and wants to permanently settle in india or he could be a person of Indian origin who has migrated from these countries okay with an intention of permanently settling in India so this is the nationality condition second is the minimum essential education qualification so for I'm directly talking about chemistry for applying in chemistry a master's degree in chemistry or which you call an MSc or a bachelor degree in chemical technology that is the BTEC. So either you should be an MSc uh, graduate, postgraduate, or you should be a BTEC graduate, engineering or equivalent. So MSc and BTEC students both can apply. Age limit goes like this: a candidate must have attained the age of 21 years and must not have attained the age of 35 years. So it's it's between 21 to 35 you can apply okay on as on the last date of submission of online application now here are all here are all the important dates uh, which you have to uh, uh, you know go through so first of all these are all the tentative dates which are provided on the website online application process is going to start from 14th of uh, july all right and online application process ends on 4th of august Issuance of admit card for the pre-examination, preliminary examination. As I told you, there will be two different examination plus one interview. So for the preliminary examination, you are going to get the e, uh, admit card on 14th of August. And the exam will be on 3rd of September 2023. Declaration of result of the examination is 13th of September, just after 10 days. For the issuance of e-admit card for the mains examination, that is the second level examination will be 18th of September. Mains examination will be conducted on 1st of October. Declaration of results of the main examination will be on 16th of October. And the issuance of admit card for interview. So based on the mains examination, you are going to get the admit card for interview on 22nd of october interview will be 11th and 12th of november and the declaration of final list of qualified candidates will be 17th of november so the process starts from july ends in november there are going to be three different uh, stages preliminary exam means examination and the interview okay now we are going to go through how to apply for this particular application you are required to apply online by using the website www.qcin.org and no other mode of application will be accepted from this website right also you have to fill out um, the uh, you have to submit the examination fee of 1000 rupees for candidates for the uh, belonging to general category and obc category for the candidates belonging to scst pwd differently abled ph and women applicants from all the categories and any person the examination fee shall be 500 rupees so for all of these categories it's 500 rupees and for general it's 1000 so once again reminding all of you the scheme of examination is going to be like this how many phases first one preliminary examination and this is only for the screening of candidates okay for the main examination the marks that you get in the preliminary examination will not be added uh, in your interview right 
so mains exa examination for shortlisting of candidates for interview and then the interview okay uh, know a little bit more about the preliminary examination all right over here this exam is meant to serve as a screening test and the marks secured in the, this exam will not be considered towards declaration of final list of quant, uh, qualified candidate will not be it is only to open the gates to the main examination now this examination will be conducted in online mode only it will consist of one paper of objective type mcq questions and of 150 marks 150 marks in 2 hours okay so a minimum a maximum of 150 question each question carrying only one mark will be present in the paper which will consist of mcq question to test quantitative aptitude 30 marks general knowledge and current affairs 30 marks general science 30 marks and ip legislation in india wipo and related treaties 15 marks okay and what are the number of uh, minimum minimum qualifying marks in the preliminary exam for unreserved category it is 30 percent for obc ews it is 25 percent and for others it is 20 percent okay so this is everything about the preliminary examination so i just wanted to show you some of the sample uh, preliminary questions which are available on the website also if you want you can go through more of them so for example this is uh, one of the type spotting errors that each question in this section has a sentence with three underlined parts labeled a b and c read each sentence to find out where there is underlined part and indicate your response in the answer sheet so basically uh, there is a b c you have to just check which one is erroneous if there is no error just click on d it's like this so this is uh, mostly based on uh, english and grammar reconstructing passages so here you are having s1 sentence 1 and p and q r s and sentence 6 so basically the all of these are uh, different sentences you just have to arrange them in a proper sequence you know sequence type of questions type of question you can get on synonyms and antonyms like this all right omniscient what is the antonym of this one now here comes the question on chemistry the most important ore of aluminium is the element present in the largest amount in rocks and minerals alloy used in making heating elements so these are this is general chemistry isn't it now next is which one of the following is spread over three states based on the general knowledge based on the ge uh, geography india is a member of asia pacific all right so this is the general knowledge part over here and these are the kinds of question you are going to get if delhi is coded as 73541 then calcutta is this how can calicut be coded so this is again aptitude now moving onwards to the mains examination part the mains examination will be conducted in the offline mode only it's it's the offline mode preliminary was the offline online mode and will consist of a written examination which will consist of two papers paper one omr based and paper two descriptive answer based paper one will be of 100 marks and paper two will be of 300 marks okay so there will be two papers in the mains examination paper one will be of two hour duration and will have maximum of 100 uh, objective type mcqs as you know again based on general knowledge current affair and general aptitude all right however the marks are less this time from the uh, preliminary paper now paper 2 will test the knowledge of candidate in technical scientific discipline for the vacancy applied for paper 2 will be of 3 hours duration and will comprise of 300 marks having descriptive questions so you have to write like a descriptive answer for this okay the cumulative marks obtained in paper 1 and paper 2 of the mains will be assigned 80% weightage in the final list of qualified candidates. Okay, so the mains examination is going to give you 80% weightage in the final list. The remaining 20% is for the interview. As a general rule, candidates, uh, candidates must write all the papers in their handwriting and in no circumstance they will be allowed to take a scribe. Okay. 
and yeah if a candidate's handwriting is not easily legible the relevant answer will be treated as incorrect obviously the number of candidates to be eligible for interview may be about 10 times the total approximate number so this is uh, uh, you don't have to do anything with this but yeah we just have to like cross the preliminary then the mains and then move onwards to interview now what is the syllabus for the mains examination let's see inorganic chemistry so these are all the topics that you can see and guys this is mostly similar to the csi net syllabus only the same for the physical chemistry if you go if you want you can just stop the video go through again the same syllabus for the csi net exam organic chemistry once again as you go through you will find out every topic is uh, similar to the csi net examination syllabus pattern okay now again yes interdisciplinary topics all the syllabus is same as csi net and gate examination paper one you see paper one which was of 100 marks that is completely based on the csi net paper all right csi net syllabus and now that was the paper one paper two format we are talking about over here all the questions are compulsory and it is divided into four parts section a b c and d okay where there will be <clears throat> section a giving you 36 section b 60 section c 84 and section d 120 marks the mains paper one was only of 100 marks and the in the uh, second part here you are going to have everything this is 300 marks paper here you are going to get all the uh, chemistry knowledge or basically your subject knowledge as well as general knowledge everything but this is going to be mostly about the scientific knowledge now also see sec uh, now the interview third part will be of 100 marks and will test the candidate on the topics covered in the preliminary and the mains examination so basically it's going to be uh, you are going to be asked similar questions uh, from the mains and the preliminary paper the marks obtained in the interview will be given 20 percent weightage in the final list of qualified candidates so 80 percent weightage is of the mains and the 20 percent of the interview the pre-examination is just for screening the medium of examination for preliminary and mains as well as interview shall be english only so you have to go through all of these in english medium so guys i just hope that i have included all the important uh, uh, you know points about what the post is about and what are the important criteria i think i have included all of these and if you have any further question you can ask me in the comment section and also please uh, share it maximum with your friends so that uh, they get to know about uh, the, these kind of posts okay and i will see you all in another such video and if you want to join me on an academy plus for csi net preparation you can definitely do so by using my code jagriti s all right guys have a nice day bye everyone